Good afternoon and uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, Happy New Year, because I imagine that's the most we posted it. It's actually New Year's Eve today. Um, and I, so we did, we picked up the shopping yesterday, um, but we went up, so <laughs> I didn't get a chance to film my little shopping haul. Um, again, I went to Sainsbury's. So I went to Sainsbury's and all in all I spent £61 something, um, which for what we got I didn't think was that bad. Um, I am going to try and do some like budget meals over the next sort of month, so throughout January, um, when we're all trying to save a bit of money. Uh, but I did splash out a little bit on a few things because um, what well, I've included our New Year's Eve meal and our New Year's meal as well. Um, so New Year's Eve, so tonight we're just going to have uh, party food, which quickly adds up very, very quickly. Um, we actually didn't do that bad cost-wise, I don't think. Um, and for our New Year's Day meal, um, treating us, so rather than going out, um, which we never normally do anyway, but, excuse me, um, I'm going to treat us to um, steak with mashed potato, Maybe like a mushroomy peppercorn sauce. I'm gonna have to get Simon to grab me some cream because I've got cream on my on my shop, but that's fine. That's nothing major. Um, so I shall run through everything that we've got. Um, and let's just let's go through let's go through the meal plan for the week. So um, all week I'm planning on having um, granola for breakfast. Um, I got a really nice one from Sainsbury's. I actually had a bowl of it this morning. It was really really lovely. Um, Tonight, aka New Year's Eve, it's party food. Tomorrow, New Year's Day, oh, I have, that's what else I'm going to do. Um, I'm actually going to just start for it, so just prawn cocktail. It's been so long since I've had a prawn cocktail, and I just love it. Um, and I've actually got some frozen prawns in ready, so it's a really nice, simple starter to do, but you know, just adds a little bit of something extra. Um, then Sunday, I'm going, we're going to be doing uh, roast chicken and veg. We did actually have a fair bit of veg left over. Um, from our last shop, so let me just use some of that up. Um, and then what I'm going to do, I've actually got a whole chicken, and there is only me and my husband. So throughout the rest of the week, I'm going to be doing um, like chicken wraps for lunches, um, and I've got a load of fruit to go with it. So yeah, that's that. Um, uh, on Monday I'm doing carbonara. Basically, had all the ingredients for that one in. That's not really including the cost here, but um, we've got bacon. We've got Parmesan, um, we've also got papadelli, so yeah, it's going to be papadelli, carbonara. Um, and Tuesday for dinner, it's, I'm going to do a cheek on carne. Um, Wednesday, I've actually wrote Simon into doing a mushroom risotto. And Thursday, I'm going to do a cottage pie. Now, I did get a big pack of beef mints, so I've also got, I'll have an extra meal with the beef mints, so I'll probably just freeze that last little bit down, just so it can be used. So yeah, that's the meal plan for the week. I'll add it up as like a little slide at the end um, and I shall go through everything we've got here. Right, so I've kind of laid it out slightly different. It's a bit messy in here at the minute. I was trying to clear down from Christmas. Um, so just starting over here, chicken wings. Um, I'm going to freeze probably a fair amount of these to be fair. Um, I've got a really nice recipe for chicken wings. Uh, it's Harry Gotra. Um, she does a lot of Indian style cooking. Um, and she has a really, really nice recipe. So I'm going to do that for dinner tonight, or to go with our, our party food tonight. Um, got the whole chicken, got two ribeye steaks, and then like I said, I've got a big pack of mints. This is 750, yeah, 750 grams. So each meal that we have, it's 250 grams of, mi of minced beef. So yeah, like I said, I've got three meals from that. I've already planned for two, um, and then for the third one, I'll probably, like I said, I'll freeze freezer batch of it so we've got it in the freezer um then sort of moving on to well just the chill stuff slash fruit and veg um got a big pack of maris piper potatoes um pack of onions some garlic bread that's to go with the risotto um whole cucumber um that's to go with the wraps and the prawn cocktail throughout the week big thing of cheese because we've run out um bananas 
melon, easy peelers. Um, I did these three fruits because um, they were on the Aldi price promise that Sainsbury's are running at the minute. Um, so they were relatively cheap and I'm desperately trying to get some fruit in me. Um, cocktail sausages for dinner tonight. Um, uh, these were actually, actually substituted. I lost, I lost my train of thought then. Um, these are substituted. So I ordered blueberries. I got the imperfectly tasty ones. I really don't mind the imperfectly tasty range. In fact, I really quite like it. It's a really nice idea. Um, and yeah, so I'm looking forward to doing those. Um, I did all of the imperfectly tasty cherry tomatoes. So like I said, I don't mind it. Um, iceberg lettuce. Oh, sorry, little gem lettuce. I've got an iceberg there. Little gem lettuce for the wraps. Um, I was going to kind of do like a Caesar-ish sort of dressing, um, but probably it won't be that Caesar-y. Um, it's just going to be mayonnaise, probably some, uh, maybe even some parmesan in it, and yeah, we'll work it out. Um, iceberg lettuce, chestnut mushrooms, um, and then just onto like the the store cupboardy bits. Uh, got. A jar of lighter than light mayonnaise. This is the granola that I was talking about. This is really, really nice. I am. I can't wait to eat this for the rest of the week. Um, and yeah, I'm back at work as of the fourth. Fourth, I think it is. So yeah, I'm gonna be back on normal lunch slash breakfast meals. So yeah. Um, kettle chips. That's for to go with dinner tonight. Uh, a tin of chopped tomatoes. Some brown basmati. Oh. Brown rice. Brown rice. Oh, I think I was going to go for brown basmati, but I just went for brown. Um, chicken stock cube, beef stock cubes, eggs, uh, the tortilla wraps for lunches. Over here are frozen bits. So we've got tempura prawns, chicken bites, mozzarella sticks, arancini bites, and mac and cheese bites. I can guarantee you that I'm going to be snacking on this the next few days, and that's fine. I'm more than happy with that. Um, we do actually have a few other... Uh, party bits in the fridge as well so uh, it's a fair bit there for two of us but <laughs> we'll enjoy it um and then drinks uh got some orange squash some tonic water and a bottle of red for my husband and then finally because toby's gonna be going off to nursery um just a tube of pseudocrem which i hope is the right one i think this is a daily one um because he can't have the the normal tub um, because it says something like medicated on it in the it, so the nursery can't let him have it I've got to sign it in and out if he has that so yes like I said all of that for 61 pound like the the party food and the steaks are obviously not our normal they're not our norms when it um have a happy new I hope everyone's having a happy new year um and I shall see you next week